Tomb Ride Kelly Dowlin, since the family property that is the subject of the TLC show is in foreclosure, Derrico, star of the Derricos, owns two additional residences in Las Vegas. The four-bedroom, three-bathroom home that Dion, 50, and Karen, 41, own in North Las Vegas, Nevada, has been highlighted on doubling down with the Derricos. As of right now, the house is in foreclosure, and on September 1, an auction is planned. However, the Sun can exclusively disclose that the real estate tycoon has two more Sin City residences in case things get rough. According to Clark County Property Records, Dion paid $107,709 in September 2019 for a four-bedroom, four-bathroom house in North Las Vegas. He owns 25% of the property in his name and 75% through his company, or EEC Enterprises. The 3,084-square-foot, two-story house is situated on 16 acres of land. With its pantry and island, the kitchen is praised for being roomy and having wood cabinets. The entire house is tiled, ostensibly to mimic a stone pattern. The hearth is a feature of the living room. Every bedroom on the upper level is carpeted. Dean paid $277,247 for a four-bedroom, two-bathroom house back in July 2018. His company owns 95%, and he owns 5%. The 2,076-square-foot, one-story house has a two-car garage. Prior to the auction, social media posts claim that Dion, Karen, and their 14 children are still residing in the house that was highlighted on the show. According to court documents in March 2020, Dean filed a petition for the foreclosure mediation aid after the house he bought in 2015 went into default one month earlier, as The Sun previously reported. The purpose of the filing is to offer a remedy of last resort for the homeowner to avoid foreclosure and loss of his slasher home by having discussions between the owner and lender during a mediation procedure. The parties were paired with a mediator, but the talks came to an end because they could not come to an agreement on a loan adjustment. The request for aid with foreclosure mediation was denied, and the foreclosure was to proceed according to schedule. Dean then lodged a case against U.S. Bank National Association in February 2021. March 12, 2021, was the scheduled date for the foreclosure sale, but he insisted that the timing was improper. He maintained that his wife Karen and their 14 children live in the house as their primary abode. The court rejected his request for a temporary restraining order, which he immediately filed to stop the sale's foreclosure. The 2,321-square-foot home in Sin City will go up for auction on Wednesday. September 1 at 9 o'clock a.m. with opening bids beginning at $430,254. When The Sun asked TLC for a remark at the time, the network did not answer right away. Then Kiru PCCY recordies. The parents' five prior bankruptcy filings were exclusively disclosed by The Sun, which coincided with the foreclosure. On October 3, 2011, Dean filed for individual Chapter 13 bankruptcy for the first time. The father detailed his debt, which ranged from $500,001 to $1 million. A summary of schedules, which details creditors, income, expenses, and more, was not provided by Dean. On October 17, 2011, a few days later, Dean's lawyer filed a motion to dismiss the bankruptcy. That that day, a court approved the dismissal. Dean refiled for individual Chapter 13 bankruptcy on January 30, 2015, stating $100,000 to $500,000 as the amount of debt. Due to Dean's failure to provide the Statement of Financial Affairs and the Summary of Schedules, the case was dismissed by the court on March 27, 2015. He then refiled for individual Chapter 13 bankruptcy on April 11, 2015. Dean reported having $314,619 in assets and $600,009.53 in liabilities or debts. D. 
Dean filed court documents on February 11, 2016, stating that he does not want my bankruptcy to continue. He then requested that the case be dismissed. After that, on March 31, 2016, his wife Karen filed for Chapter 13 bankruptcy under her own name. At that time, she owed creditors an astounding $1,009,691 and 33 cents. On August 8, 2016, the trustee dismissed the case based on allegations that Karen had neglected to file her plan on time, violated the notice requirements, and more. Karen refiled for Chapter 13 bankruptcy on January 24, 2018, reporting $47,567 in debt. On February 7, 2019, the case was dismissed. Dion's court challenges. The bankruptcies coincide with Dion's prior legal issues. As previously reported by The Sun, on June 24, 2014, Dion was charged with 13 charges, which included theft, false representation of title, several transactions involving fraud or deceit, and further crimes. On being arraigned, Dion entered a not guilty plea. When the matter got to trial in 2018, the state of Nevada's counsel asked that the jury not be told about Dean's children because it might distract the jury from the facts of the case.